Hey everyone, let's edit this waterfall shot using only Lightroom Classic. As always, you can follow along by downloading the raw file from the link in the description of this video. And now let's begin. So what I want to do with this shot is basically make it a lot brighter, but also make the overall scene a lot softer. Let's start this in the basic panel. I'm going to change the profile going from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard to lessen the contrast, which works quite nice in this scene. Lessening the contrast will make the image appear softer and that's exactly what I want for this. I'm not going to change the white balance since as you can see the colors do look quite natural and I think I want to keep it this way. To fix the brightness I'm going to first increase the exposure and let's raise it quite a bit until we get some nice details out of the shadows and at the same time I want to bring up the whites. And while I'm pushing the whites, I'm taking a close look at the histogram because I don't want to overexpose too badly, but this is looking pretty good. And again, looking at the histogram, you can see there's a little bit of underexposure going on. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but still, I want to raise the blacks. Not only will this help fixing the underexposed areas, but also it will reduce the contrast and in turn just help with the soft look we want to create. So that is looking nice. At this point, exposure wise, everything is looking good so far. What I want to do next is to work on the soft look. First, however, I'm going to introduce texture, making just the smallest details a little sharper. And then at the same time for the soft effect, I'm going to bring down the clarity. And you can drop this actually quite a lot, depending on how strong you want the soft effect to be. But in this case, let's just apply a very subtle amount like this. And I'm also going to drop the dehaze. Just be careful dropping the dehaze while it has a great effect on this image will make everything brighter. So pay close attention to the histogram while dropping the dehaze. And finally, let's bring up the vibrance since at this point, the image does look a bit washed out. And by doing this, we are changing that. Wonderful. So here we have the image after just a few basic Lightroom adjustments. You can see how we went from this very dark original RAW file to this very well exposed image. Of course, we are not done here. I do want to continue using some masks. So let's go ahead and open up the masking panel. What I want to do first is to introduce some more contrast right there in the foreground, just to make it more interesting. So I'm doing this by creating a linear gradient, just covering most of the foreground like that. And now I just want to bring down the shadows. This works quite well. Next up, I also want to use a radial gradient just on the white water in the foreground because I want to have more details in here. And we can pretty easily do that just using a radial gradient like this. And then I'm going to introduce texture and I'm going to use quite a lot of it. And I'm also going to add clarity. This creates a very nice eye catcher right down there in the foreground of the image. Perfect. What is kind of distracting at the moment is the upper portion of the image, which is a little bit too bright. So what I want to do is to create a linear gradient covering most of the upper part like that. And here I'm simply going to bring down the exposure again. Let's make it really dark up here, just like that. Again, I'm paying close attention to the histogram because we don't want to underexpose anything, but this is looking good. Now we did not only darken the cliffs, but also the waterfall, which in turn looks quite strange. So we don't want to do that. To fix this, I'm going to make use of that subtract button. And I guess let's just subtract a radial gradient. I'm going to create a very thin one like this. Let's rotate it a bit and just make sure the waterfall stays as bright as it was before. Perfect, that looks great. We can enchance the waterfall portion of this image a little more using another radial gradient. And I'm just going to create one like this and I'm going to place it just above the waterfall and what I want to do with this is to add some kind of light coming in from, from the top. So in here, let me bring up the exposure. Yes, not. And I'm also going to introduce some blacks. 
again, which just helps for the soft effect and maybe even some dehaze. Perfect. We don't want to overdo it. So that's looking really, really good. And here we have the image after the masking adjustments. They did have a great impact. I can show you by toggling the masks on and off. So we went from this edited base image to this with just a bit of masking. At this point, the only thing that's left to do is the color grading. So let's start this in the HSL panel. What I want to do first is work on the hue, mainly the yellow hue, which will affect the grassy areas of the image. I want to make them look a little bit fresher and not that warm. So I'm going to bring up the yellow hue, which in turn will make the green tones a little more intense. Just like that. We could maybe also push the greens just a bit, giving them a richer green color. All right, after adjusting the hue, we want to push the saturation. We can do this for the yellow colors and for the green tones. Just tickling out some more saturation in here. And I think I want to also introduce some more blue saturation, which will affect the water in a very nice way. Just don't overdo it because it looks strange quite fast, as you can see. So let's not go that high. All right, that's looking great. We could also play around with the luminance just to affect the contrast of the image some more. And what I mean by that is I could bring up the yellow luminance just to brighten up the grassy areas of the image. And I can do the same with the green tones. It's looking really interesting this way. So let's keep it like that. All right. Now, if you want to get a little more creative, we can also make use of some split toning in the color grading tab. Here we can work on the shadows and the midtones. The highlights are not that helpful when it comes to the split toning for this image. So for the shadows, I have a very cold color in mind. So let's first set up the hue to something like this and then just very, very slightly raise the saturation. Don't go too high because otherwise this looks very, very, very unnatural fast. So I just want to use a saturation of around one or two. That's it. Also, I'm going to head into the midtones and let's see, I think I want to apply a cold color tone to the midtones as well. Again, I'm just using a very subtle amount of saturation because we don't want to have a very unnatural looking image. Should be enough. And then let's also go down into the calibration tab. Here we can play around with green primary hue and saturation. What I mean by that is I'm just going to increase the hue a bit, giving the green tones a way better looking color. And I'm also going to push the saturation slightly just to make them look more intense. Nice. Now I think at this point there's some vignetting missing. So what I want to do next is to go into the effects tab right there. And let's just bring down the amount of vignetting. That's probably a bit too much. So I think this is looking better. Finally, we can do some sharpening in the details tab. Here, I'm always using the same settings. I'm going to bring down the radius. I'm going to increase the details all the way up. Then I'm holding down the Alt key and adjust the masking slider. We only want the important parts of the image to be sharpened maybe just like that. And then I'm bringing up the amount of sharpening. Perfect. And that's pretty much it for editing this waterfall scene in Lightroom Classic only. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. Of course, as always, if you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. I will gladly answer them. And thank you so much for watching this video.